We're here with uh, uh, folks from the Westmoreland School. Uh, they're celebrating their Golden Jubilee. I have the principal, Mr. Victor Ashby, and the chairman of the management board, uh, Ms. Rachel DeCall. So good morning. Yeah, good morning. Good Welcome morning. to Daybreak. Thank, thank you for having us. How thank are you, you doing this morning? Very well, thank good. you. Yeah. In celebratory mode, you know? We've oh. been in celebratory mode since January. <laughs> okay, okay. Tell us about the celebrations, uh, Golden Jubilee. So it's been quite a while. Well, I mean, certainly 50 years is a long year in any institution. And we started our Golden Jubilee celebrations in January with a Thanksgiving and rededication service at the school. Mm -hmm. It was fabulous. Those of you who missed it really missed out. We invited past teachers, parents, students, anybody really who was connected with the school, and it went very well indeed. We do have stuff planned for each month of the year. Um, in February, we had friendly matches between the teachers and the students. Um, I'm not even sure who won, <laughs> but everybody had a fabulous time. Nobody mm -hmm. wanted to go home at the end of the afternoon. Mm -hmm. um, in March, we invited members of the public to come in and speak to the students on a Monday, which is our longest assembly, and that has gone well. Correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Ashby, but I believe we're going to continue in the month of February because the, t the students really did enjoy that, mm -hmm. you know? Okay, nice. And we have other things planned throughout right. the year. So tell us about a little bit more about the events you have surrounding. You said for the entire year there's mm -hmm. going to be events. So what other things you have coming up? In, in April, that's well, and we in April. Mm -hmm. But when we return to school, on the six, as from the 16th to the 30th, let's say we're going to have an exhibition, and we're going to feature students' work, teachers' work, and related work, craft art, science, mathematics. Uh, we are also going to be having the start of our sale of our merchandise, whatever, produced locally, mm -hmm. produced externally, but in the name of the school. In May, we're going to have a, a cultural explosion, again, featuring our students, teachers, mm -hmm. Uh, old boys, old girls, I mean alumni of the school, parents. In, 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 in June, we're going to have a kind of explosion, but this would focus on the parents of the school. Okay. And uh, the parents of the school will come together to, to have what is called the AGM, that is the annual general meeting, but it will be with a difference. And in July, August, the focus will be on the, on the launch of the Alumni Association of the school. I say formal launch because we have an informal arrangement with the alumni of the school. But of course, I skipped one, and that is to do with May. And I must mention it. It's to do with a traditional activity of the school, Ports of Call. Uh, this is a big social event, uh, not just Westmoreland, but the general um, public invited to a, a day of uh, extraordinary fun, food, engagement, entertainment. And that will be done at one of our hotel sites, one of our beachfront sites. And, uh, and we're looking forward to It's called Ports of Call. And uh, that's in me. Yes, if I may interrupt yeah. or interject here. Yeah. This is something that we used to do at the school when I was a student. Mm -hmm. And what it is, it's a luncheon, in addition to other activities that we would have planned. But we choose food from four different countries. And we would feature that food and you will get to taste a little of everything. So it's real. people look forward to it because mm -hmm. for our, um, we, uh, we're hoping this year to have Arabic as well as Indian food, maybe some West Indian food, and we still haven't made a decision on the fourth, mm -hmm. the fourth country yet, and we dress up in the little parts, and it, it's really quite wow. fun. And okay. it was that, that was how we used to do, that was our major fundraiser for the year. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it really is a good event so, event, so we hope that the public will come out and support us, and those who are past students and parents will come as well. Fantastic. And this is at the end of May. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I noticed there's a whole calendar of okay. events there's lots so. of other things happening at yes. the end of the year as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, the curtain doesn't come down before December mm -hmm. when we will do a lot of recognition, honoring our past greats. 
and uh, our current grades because people are working very hard to ensure that the school grows and this program succeeds. Uh, we, of course, will have some major events between September and December. Included there would be a day for our professional people, and that is September. In October, we are going to have, October, November, we are going to have a major activity to do with a dinner and awards. And uh, around October, we're going to have a major musical evening. And so you can see we are looking at all aspects of the school because in between time, we're going to have students featured. And our focus is on our students. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, we bear in mind that it's Grenada's development. So the culture, the cuisine, the development in education, all of those major features are part and parcel of the objective of the celebration of our Golden Jubilee. And of course you know that you can't have a Golden Jubilee except to experience 50 years. Mm -hmm. And if this is 2012, as we know it is, then you know we started in 1962. Right. And so we moving from 50 years mm -hmm. and we are going into 50 more, which be like the centenary of the school. Fantastic. Yeah. Now tell us about the beginnings of the school. 1962, that mm. is a long time ago. <laughs> so tell us how the school got started way back then. Well, the school was started in, in 1962 by a group of par um, parents who wanted the, the, their children to have the best possible education. And it started with only about 16 children whose ages ranged from 6 to about <clears> 10. Um, they had actually started with a correspondence course that came from England. It was called PNU, which is Parents National um, Education Unit. And, it, and this is what was originally used to teach the children. Uh, it was purchased from an area called Westmoreland, which is how the school ended up with its name. Mm -hmm. As the school grew, it moved. It Actually, the first classes were held in the downstairs of Curtis and Rosa Hughes on Simmons Alley here in, in, in St. George's. And as it grew, it moved to Willits Road and a couple of other places until it ended up in our premises um, on Maras Hill in 1971. Also, at the time, as the school grew, the, the, the teachers the, found it difficult to keep up with the correspondence course, which is what it was originally, and they enlisted the help of Beryl Ball, and she became our first principal. Mm -hmm. And we have just continued to grow since then. Good. And then that means it would have grown from primary into secondary school? Well, when the did the secondary The begin? secondary department started with just eight children mm -hmm. in 1974 and our classes were held in the staff room of the junior school. They had nowhere for us, so they put the teachers out and we were held mm. in, the sta in the staff room. And come the following year, we needed a spot, so we moved across the street, which is um, at the time was Mrs. Radix's home. The police band held headquarters is, is now in that building, and we were there for a couple of years mm. until we, they were able to build the secondary part department, and we moved there in 1978. Okay. Mm -hmm. And tell us about some of the achievements of the school from since then to now. Well, I want to connect mm -hmm. with the chair mm -hmm. on this item and say that a fundamental focus of the Westmoreland School is the pursuit of excellence. <coughs> So even in 1962, with the acquisition of that program from Westmoreland, England, the focus was and is on the pursuit of excellence. In fact, as early as that time, the school agreed that it, there will be three pillars in its pursuit of excellence. One is the intellectual development of our charges, our students. Two is the human and social development of these charges and the community of the school. Mm -hmm. And the three is to do with career development. And uh, against that backdrop, the school pursued the, the objective of pursuit of excellence. And so it's little surprise that 
at all times our students are focused on the best that they can be intellectually, socially, and although we are a non-denominational school, we cannot forget the place of the spirit in the growth and development of man. And so there is no gainsay that the Westmoreland School also focuses on the development of the whole person and the spiritual part mm -hmm. is important. And um, we've been going, as you well know, intellectually. And I mean, it's common knowledge in Grenada that intellectual side of the Westmoreland School mm -hmm. is, <laughs> is very strong, <laughs> uh, very, very strong, whether it's common entrance, CXC, mm -hmm. you name it. And even the knowledge bowl. And knowledge exactly, bowl yeah. and the debating. I mean, was <laughs> because it's the pursuit of that kind of mm -hmm. ingredient of the school. Mm -hmm. And um, of course, that's not the end all of, 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 of the education. Uh, the co curricular, because that's the curricular, but the co curricular is also a very important ingredient in, mm -hmm. the, in the education of the Westmoreland School. And so, from, as you rightly said, from debating, to hashing, you know, mm -hmm. um, 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 hiking. Um, you know, we grew up on tennis and swimming and all of those things. Mm -hmm. But in everyone, and if you examine our immediate portfolio, you will find that our students represent Grenada at the highest level in like, tennis, or Yannick James, and in, 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 in art. Students go far and wide in art. You name the activity, pursuit of excellence. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's also it's also important to to inform us on the fact as we talk the the initiation creation of the school that we are a school that is mired in law, deep in law. Because as early as 1971, 1971. 1971 May 1971, the record of the, of the law in Grenada will, will clearly show that the Westmoreland School became a, an official bona fide school with the, with, with the Act of Parliament and Act Number 15 and both the through the House of Representatives and the, and the Senate, mm -hmm. we are fully documented in law yeah. as a school, private school, pursuing excellence in education with parents, the focus in terms of that drive for that excellence in education. Yeah. I would just like to add that to what Mr. Ashby is saying, that our classes are small. We try not to have more than 25 students in each class, and so the children are able to get the individual attention that they require. But without our teachers, we have an excellent complement of teachers. We, we would not do as well as we do though. We have very dedicated teachers. Some of them have been with us for over 30 years, and we must thank mm -hmm. our teachers. Mm -hmm. You know, without them, I don't think we would do as well as, as we have. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Tell us a little bit about the management, uh, the structure, the mm -hmm. management of the school. In terms of the board of management? In, term, in terms of the board Well, of as management. Mr. Ashby alluded to before, they, the school was incorporated by the Westmoreland School Trustees and Corporation Act, which provided for the school to be managed by a board of management. Um, the members of the board of management come from the parent body, and once a year at our annual general meeting, members are elected to serve on the board, and that's for two years. Mm -hmm. And from the eight members that sit on the board, we choose a chairman, a vice chair, a treasurer, and the secretary. We meet once a month, and we look over the affairs of the school, if there's anything that needs attention, and just, just, on a, just, just overseeing. Mm -hmm. Mr. Ashby, mm -hmm. you know, he, he's, he, he runs it. <laughs> but we, you know, he comes and he gives us his report every mm -hmm. month, and mm -hmm. it, go, it goes very well. Okay. But in addition to the Board of Management, we have the PTA mm -hmm. as well, and that's the fundraising arm of the school. Okay. And the president of the PTA sits on the Board of Management with us. Okay, wow. So mm -hmm. that sounds like a good 
mode of management there. Yes, and we have a good group. Okay, good, yes. good. And Mr. Ashby, I know you're well known as being principal of GBSS <laughs> for ages. <laughs> so tell us the difference, you know, what difference has it been you know, being in GBSS and now in Westmoreland? Has it been a, a serious change for you? Well, first of all, I must make the point that I have been a parent of the Westmoreland School okay. for, about, for about 15 years. Okay. Yes. And that I, which is a member of the school, and I have also been a member of the board for about eight years. So the Westmoreland School. It's like second home. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you just blend I have been a Westmoreland back. person. Oh, okay. I've been a Westmoreland person, mm -hmm. even though I was at the GBSS at the same time. Mm -hmm. Um, there is a difference. There is a difference. There is a difference. Mm -hmm. And the difference is to do with the, the focused pursuit of excellence as driven by our parents consistently. Mm -hmm. that is the, that's the reason why the school was created. Yes? Mm -hmm. To provide education, quality education, with a difference. And uh, that the parents are very close to the school. In fact, the school's operation and the school's management of its curriculum can be said to be parent driven. The teachers provide the professional guidance of that parent driven curriculum. Of course, um, it's not the same in mm -hmm. the other system. Okay. And, um, and at all times, our students are kept on task. So, because we have to bring out the very best in each child, and we do not give up on any child. Every child, we regard him as a success in his own right. Mm -hmm. No one, we might say, as is always said, is left behind. And in the Westmoreland School, that is absolutely so. Okay, fantastic. Well, I must say congratulations on the Golden Jubilee celebrations. Uh, is there a contact that persons, if anybody wants to be a part of the celebration, any you know old students out there, they might want to contact the school to find out more? Facebook. Is there a number? Yes, I mean, most past pupils know this, the number of the school. They can okay. get in touch with the school. We recently have a Facebook page as well, mm -hmm. and that has been going quite well. Um, I, I go on every now and then, it's, and it's amazing. You see, you, you know, you see a little blurb from someone you haven't heard from in 20 years. Mm -hmm. So that's working, and hopefully that would catch on, and we'd be able to spread the word out so that we can have as many people as possible for our closing ceremony in November. You mm -hmm. know, it would be nice to have Fantastic. all people who were associated with the school. Okay, great. You know? Well, thank you so much for coming on the program, and of course, all the best with the celebrations from now till December, right? Yes, correct. All right, thank you. Thank you for having me.